Hey guys, John here at the Whatever Garage. So in this episode, I'm going to be finishing off this bench right here across these footings. And then hopefully, I'll get my second utility bill. Got in the latest utility bill. Would you like to see it? Good answer. Good answer. So one thing to remember is, even this number here, for last year, I had some solar working. I had the anchor set up with all of those five 200 watt panels. They didn't produce that much overall. Maybe, I figured a couple of kilowatts a day at best. Last year's bill was 105. This year's is 72. It's not a huge difference because the cost of electricity itself went up. The actual kilowatts used, we went from 658 last year for this same time frame to 310 this time more than 50 percent off savings we're only talking 32 dollars compared to last year for a running total now of 73 dollars and 74 cents <laughs> So we crossed triple digits at noon, been a few hours now. This has been running on the, the brand new unit that I installed. And in the house here, you can see it keeps it nice and cool. Just that one unit running on low. Now let's take a look at the garage. Again, this one I have running on low. It has been for a few hours. And if we look at the temperature, we'll see in here where it's less insulated, it still keeps it fairly manageable. Now let's check the shed out back. I have this one running on low and has been for several hours now. No insulation out here at all, it's mid 80s with that. Three of them running off of this Pecron and the refrigerator we're drawing over 1500 watts. Oh, there's one more thing, sir. So I decided to go ahead and reuse these old anchor panels, most of them anyway, but only because I have all the connections and wiring that would be necessary to hook them up. This was a mistake buying these in the first place. However, I can get a little bit more use out of them, at least in the summer months, because I've got full sun over this area. I've got the generator batteries right on the other side so it should be real easy to hook them up. That's the only reason I'm even using them is to get a little bit more use out of them and because I already have all the material that I need to hook up four panels. I also decided it would make a lot more sense to use this extra foam that just came with all the new panels out here. So I'll put a layer around here especially in this end where it gets the most amount of sun. See if it makes any difference. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. For some reason, when there's a thin layer of high clouds, I get the highest readings. I've already seen over 2200. My rated input Maximum is 2355. That's the new high, 2200. So I have the car charging. I have the convection oven running. Mom's AC. But there you see it, 2333 coming in at a 2355. Almost 100% of the rated wattage. 2364. 2367. 2380, new high, 2382. Look at that charging board temperature, 120. So here's the little anchor, 560 watt panel. Doing almost 100, there's over wattage. 581, 588, this is a 560 watt panel. Over 600 watts incoming. 6.05, here we are, still consistently over the 23.55 that the panels are rated. This is why I under-paneled rather than over-paneled. 
Look at the temperature on that charging board though. 123.8. Well, I had enough of that foam left to cover a good portion of the roof. And this whole end over here that gets a lot of the heat. So we'll see if that makes any difference. On to installing those other panels. Well, I've been keeping an eye on my incoming wattage. And these lower panels are just doing so much worse than the top ones that I've decided to go ahead and remount them. These are already drawing in almost 400 watts and this, these ones weren't even at 100 watts yet. I'm just getting too much shading here and in the evening it's just the opposite on the other corner. So what I'm going to do is remove them, build a real simple framework right here and then remount them just below this line right here. Here is the basic framework, cross braced, just need to put a little tape. Here they are at the much shallower angle. I hooked them up, I haven't put the uh, tie downs in yet or finished taping, but I did hook them up so we can go in and see how they compare to the other ones up above. Yesterday they were at this time, they were about 300 watts behind. Here you see they're kicking out pretty close to the ones up above. The ones up above are the higher number, but we're getting 900 out of those. The main thing is shading. Early in the morning and later in the day, I'm going to check again about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. The other one was doing over 300, and this one that I just hooked up wasn't even doing 100 yet. So let's check it first thing in the morning, about eight o'clock. So we're at about the same time that I filmed yesterday. This number was only at 74 watts or so. Definitely a big improvement overall. Okay, so back to these folding solar panels. The good news is since I did that other project over there, I've got even more leads freed up so I can put these even further out than I originally planned. So I should have all the cable I need to utilize this area up here. I'm just going to put up a couple of simple 2x4 runners here and double mount two panels so I'll have 14 feet long once I'm done. I know these are going to be temporary so there's no need to get too extravagant on them. So throw down a couple of 2x4s, put a little Gorilla Tape on, screw them down and hook up the cable like from up above and down below I had so much extra cabling I just ran it long ways it connects the one right here the other ones connect right there everything tucked right through that pre-drilled hole and the thing is I'm not even going to hook these up I'm just gonna leave these leads sitting here because I got two of them now so I can hook two batteries up right on the ports on the side here. These little ports right here. And I'll use these two back batteries. The only time I'll need these is for multiple cloudy days when it's real hot and I'm running a lot of AC. So you can see that okay. That just plugs right into the battery. This battery pack here was full at 9.30 this morning because I didn't have anything running except the fridge last night. And you can see right now, all the batteries are full. If I was charging any of them, this would probably be, there'd be more than 2000 watts coming in probably, or somewhere around 2000 watts right now. I certainly don't need any more charging capacity right now, but as soon as summertime hits and I'm running the AC units all the time, then it's gonna be a different story. I was planning on finishing this bench in this video, but I think that's gonna have to wait till next one. I need to go to the hardware store and get some more lumber. I think that's gonna do it for this one. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna be in the video, huh? Yeah, you wanna be in the video, huh? Yeah, yeah. Boys say, why don't you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and then you'll see what it'll look like uh, when this is done. So I hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. I think this situation absolutely requires a really futile and stupid gesture be done on somebody's part.